is the same force in as P and that's also in tension. So I could take another force and we take that as P. Then <coughs> this force here is going to be the force in this part. And I could take that force, let's say, as R. So we got the forces on pulleys at C and pulleys at B. Now, if I just take the part which were attached for the plank, so now we're going to look at this part by itself. And this part actually extends all the way up here. So if this force was R, then there's going to be an identical force going up as R. Now this point, this point is same as T. So <coughs> since there was rope like this, you'll have a force going up with T. Then there was this person sitting here, his own weight going to act downward so that's another 150 pounds. Then you have the plank weight. That's another 10 pounds. So that, that's just what you get as the free body for the bottom part of this diagram. Then if you look at the plank by itself. <coughs> now on the plank by itself, there will be a reaction, let's call this as N, then you have plank with its own weight as 10 pounds, and then <coughs> this force here. So you place that force, and that's the reaction R. So that's all the total free wire diagrams. You have one free body diagram which comes here that's the free body diagram one then you have this one here that's free body diagram two then you have this one here that's the free body diagram three and finally you have the free body diagram and that's four Okay, so first set of equations will be for free body diagram 1. You sum all your forces in y direction, that should go to 0, and that should give us P going down, that's negative, plus T, plus T, plus T, that all adds up to 0. So that gives us P as 3 times T. Then we look at the free body diagram number two. Again, all forces are in the y direction. So you set that to zero. And again, you get negative r plus p plus p plus p. Then add to zero. That so gives you r as 3p. <coughs> then we look at the free body diagram number 3, you have T is going up, then R is going up, then you have negative 10, negative 150, and <coughs> that goes to 0. Then you got one more equation that's going to come from free body diagram 4, that should be R is going up, the reaction force at the plank is going down, then you have another force 10 going down, and that should be zero. So <coughs> those are the actual equations for each of these free body diagrams. Now from here, 
I can say that R is going to be 3 times of P which is 3 times of T or 9 times of the tension. Then we can come here, we still have T plus we have 9 times of T as R and then that should equal to 160. So from this set we should get T as 160 by 10 or 16 pounds. That means the actual reaction which is R is going to be 9 times 16 or 144 pounds. <coughs> so that's one answer. That's the force at point A. Then from this equation we found R that's 144 then you have N minus 10 equals to 0 and that gives you N as 134 pounds and that's your second answer which is the reaction at the plank. So um, this problem is fairly involved where you need to draw a whole set of free body diagrams till you actually get an answer. So any questions on this? Alright, we're going to look at another example.